Foundation come to be? Tell me about the Powahi Foundation and your mission and who you serve. In general, the foundation was created, created as a place to house funds with a focus on donor intent. It's what it was started for, it's what we're expanding on, it's what we will be here for for many, many years to come. And we are a great investment for people who are trying to support Hawaiian education. Really what we're here for is to be a place or a hub where people can come to for support and to find opportunities to support Hawaiians that focuses on others, not internally but externally in the broader community. At the core of it, education is the key and there are a lot of Hawaiians who don't have the opportunity at solid, critical educational milestones to, to advance their futures. And you know, uh, there's a lot of people I've talked to who says, you know, I'm not Hawaiian. And really, this is much bigger than that. The better we prepare our Hawaiian community for success, the better the state will be. I mean, we have the ability to impact a massive population that then carries over and uplifts our entire state. Because without the spirit and culture and energy of the Hawaiian community, we don't have Hawaii. We don't have Hawaii, that's exactly right. My roots hurt. <laughs> they tickle for the touch of knowledge. Though I have found a stream that trickles, it is not enough. Where are my ancestors? They grew dominantly alongside ravines of knowledge once, but all the rivers seem to never make it to the ocean anymore, and they fail to adapt to the happening of change. Eola na kumula Eola naivi kekoko. My roots are strong. Don't you ever doubt it. Ever. You know what's so cool is even at the school that I'm working at now, it was founded originally by Hawaiian Monarchy with that same emphasis right. on wanting to help that community. Right. So S several it's powerful more. that that far back that was top of mind as well. What do you think are some of the misconceptions about what you do? Yeah, well, <laughs> how much time do we have? <laughs> there's a, there's a, there are a lot, uh, you know, we get feedback that, well, you guys raise money for Kamehameha, and Kamehameha has so much money, why would I give to you? And that's, without a doubt, the number one comment I get about being a fundraiser for the Hawaii Foundation. We don't primarily raise money for Kamehameha schools. We raise money for the Hawaiian community. There's 152,000 Hawaiians of that zero to 24 age group. Between Kamehameha and other independent schools and Hawaiian focused charter schools, Roughly 18,000 Hawaiians get served each year. And so our job is not even close to done. And when people realize that the resources are simply not enough to accomplish the original mission of Pauahi, which was to educate a people. So our job becomes finding more resources to educate those who have yet to be served. There are some things that make your foundation unique compared to others. What, what are those? Well, there's two, there's two really incredible facts about the foundation. Number one is we are wholly funded by Kamehameha Schools. And what that allows us to do is to um, spend less time on trying to survive, which is the, the plight of most nonprofits, if not everyone else except for us. And because we don't have to focus on raising money for our operations, we can focus intently on what donors want to accomplish. What that allows us to do is when we talk to people about supporting the wine community, we can say to them that if you give us a dollar, 100% of that dollar is gonna go out to the intended recipient. If someone gives us a dollar and says, I wanna support a kid in white and I, that dollar will go to that kid. And that's a rare thing to be able to say in fundraising. And what it does is it opens us up to be able to find what people care about, and help them support that area. You know, I've been a fundraiser for almost 15 years, and <laughs> this is a dream job, because here we get to focus on donor intent, and it makes us an incredible investment for impact. It gives the donor a lot of confidence. A lot of confidence and a lot of control over uh, reaching the demographic or the area that they want to reach. We don't have to tell them, you need to support us because we're important. We get to say, what do you think's important and how do we get to helping that group? So it must be very rewarding, but at the same time, a little bit of a daunting task because I'm sure there's a lot of need out there. Right, it, it is daunting, uh, but it's what makes me uh, excited every morning, right? Mm -hmm. So the need never goes away and neither does the generosity. We don't want to spread ourselves too thin, so we've really tried to focus on 
specific areas and issues and working with Kamehameha to see how we can partner with them and then get third party partners in. So what are some of the ways that you're getting community partners to be involved with you? Well, that's been the exciting part of the job is that um, one of the big movements that we've, uh, we started last year was a movement called the Paka'ua movement. We asked people to be a raindrop for the Hawaiian people because together we become a spring, right? So it says, hey Paka'ua ao, I'm a raindrop. Hey Puna Vai Karko, we are a spring. And it's not about big donations, although we do have some very generous people. It's about getting a collective movement to support ongoing needs in the Hawaiian community. So we ask people to give a dollar a month. It makes a significant impact when thousands and thousands of people give those dollars a month. And we've seen the biggest growth from that movement and we plan to blow that up because the more people who get involved, the more people we can help. Along those lines, we have the Pakua Community Partner Program where we try and tap into businesses' expertise, the abilities of these artists and, and business people um, to create opportunities for Hawaiians through their skill rather than just through their donations. So one of our first partners was a Sig Zane. Mm -hmm. I like to support Sig Zane shirts. Beautiful shirt. <laughs> yeah, and he's going to make a Paka'ua series of shirts. And 100% of the net proceeds of that will go towards uh, starting the Sig Zane Scholarship. Mm -hmm. And he gets to support the area that he wants to support, mm -hmm. the focus that he wants to support. So we use his expertise to create opportunities for Hawaiians. Honolulu Beer Works is another, Mark Noguchi is another. Hola Hola Farms, who won our ag contest last year, we gave them an award last year, and they'll already pay that back in an ag scholarship mm -hmm. within four years. Mm -hmm. It's really exciting. What are your visions for the foundation, for the future? Our vision is to get millions of people to support us. <laughs> I, uh, my, I, anytime I say numbers like that, my, my staff looks at me like I'm crazy. And I, I am a little bit crazy. But the idea is that we need people to join in because it's for the betterment of the entire state. Right? When we start to focus on education and we create leaders, whether they're Hawaiians or non-Hawaiians, it doesn't really matter. What we need to do is create leaders so that they can come back and teach future generations. I mean, I always think about Pauahi and that she gave her gift to generations of Hawaiians that she would never know. And then many people do it at many schools and organizations, they leave planned gifts. But it is an amazing phenomenon for someone to sit down and say, I'm gonna give nearly everything I have to people who I will never know because it has a benefit for, at the time, our country. Mm -hmm. We are not working for now, we are working for the future. Mm -hmm. And I think about that, I translate to what we do today, and it energizes me. I wanna create opportunities through the foundation that are a thousand times more valuable and more uh, impactful when I'm long gone. 50 years from now when I'm not here, I want the foundation to be a thousand times more successful. And that is exciting. I mean, that is exciting to be a part of. <laughs>